today we're going to discuss a very often asked question on my channel minoxidil i get very frustrated at times when people talk so much about minoxidil and do not even like to discuss about finasteride which is the gold standard of treatment of androgenic alopecia finasteride is there blind spot whatever you might tell them eventually at the end of the end of the day they are going to go back to minoxidil and they are increasingly getting disenchanted with minoxidil as well because minoxidil has its limitations the basic cause of your hair loss when you're suffering from androgenic alopecia is that the dht which is a metabolite of testosterone as we all know acts in a in a deleterious manner on your follicles it makes your follicles shrink miniaturize cuts off the blood vessel blood supply and the hair fall off now use of minoxidil is only to sustain hair as long as they are there as long as they are not prey to the dht as long as they don't fall off so minoxidil essentially in basic language just supports your hair makes them look thicker more bouncier as long as they are there so minoxidil does not prevent pro progression of baldness future hair loss well that is the function of finasteride a dht blocker and dutasteride which is rarely used so if we think that minoxidil is going to be the messiah of androgenic alopecia well you are uh, mistaken you are being taken on the garden path so uh, with with that introduction let us uh, talk about the problem with minoxidil so first pro problem i have told you the problem is that it's not a dht blocker but for patients who rely solely on minoxidil due to various reasons minoxidil has the biggest problem that not everybody responds to finasteride to minoxidil and why does this happen minoxidil when we apply it on the scalp is converted to its active form which will function and cause benefits on your hair it is converted to minoxidil sulfate by an enzyme which is present in your skin surface in your skin called the sulfotransferase and the concentration of this enzyme sulfotransferase the body's expression of this enzyme sulfotransferase varies from individual to individual and in some patients it is so low that minoxidil since it cannot be converted into minoxidil trans uh, minoxidil sulfate can does not uh, give benefit to patients and they become frustrated because neither can they take finasteride and nor is minoxidil benefiting them it as large as 40% of patients are non responders to minoxidil for the simple reason that the body does not express enough sulfotransferase en enzyme for minoxidil to be converted to its active form minoxidil sulfate 6 out of 10 people only respond to minoxidil because they have sufficient amount of sulfotransferase to convert minoxidil into minoxidil sulfate and this is the conundrum that most patients who rely on minoxidil face when they're tackling the hair loss and in this light many people resort to tretinoin their hero when minoxidil is their only savior as they think now what is minoxidil minoxidil is a, or it is also called as retin retin a and it is used in various dermatological condi conditions like acne it also is used for cosmetic purposes uh, to prevent photo aging and a host of other things like alopecia areata when over a period of time people were using tretinoin for treating various other dermatological conditions they noticed that 
it also improves or reduces your hair loss and improves the thickness and your visible amount of hair on your scalp. So increasingly it began to be used as a hair loss medication itself. And over the years, various combinations of minoxidil with tretinoin were used with a lot of gain, with a lot of advantage in treating hair loss, especially patients who cannot, who do not respond to uh, minoxidil alone were hugely benefited because tretinoin or retin A is converted to increase, is considered to increase, and it has been scientifically proven as well, to increase the expression of the scalp, of the skin, of sulfotransferase enzyme, which is a lifeline for minoxidil if it has to act on your hair because it needs to be converted into minoxidil sulfate. Now, uh, what it was found that 43% of non-responders to minoxidil became responders after using minoxidil, after using tretinoin with minoxidil for just five days. Now, how does retin A or tretinoin act? Tretinoin acts in three ways. Number one, it increases the cell turnover rate, increasing the exfoliation of dead cells and preventing dead cells from clogging the hair follicles. This is the first way in which retin A or tretinoin works on your scalp. The second way it works is by increasing the penetration of various topical agents used to treat hair loss, of which minoxidil is one. And the third way it, use, it, uh, it, it benefits uh, scalp health is by regulating sebaceous activity. It keeps the follicles healthy and active. Well, these are the three mechanisms by which Retin-A cream or Tretinoin acts on your scalp. And then we come on to the correct dosage of retinoid A, retin A cream, tretinoin for treating your hair loss. Well, when you're just starting off or when your sc scalp is sensitive, 0 0.025 to 0.05 percent of tretinoin is the dosage one should start with. Start it once at night on alternate days. And over a period of time, over a period of three, time, three months, depending upon how much your skin can tolerate this cream because it is an irritant, you can increase the dosage first from alternate days to daily and then you can enhance the dosage, enhance the concentration to 1% tretinoin every day. So 1% Retin, uh, retin A is the maximum dosage that you should use on your scalp and considered to be the most beneficial. Whenever pe people refer to uh, tretinoin in uh, medical journals, maybe medical publications and research work, they are mostly referencing to 1% tretinoin. So then we go on to uh, the various studies which have been done, uh, which prove that uh, a combination of minoxidil with tretinoin is beneficial. The first study that was done, the landmark study in 1986, showed that a combination of minoxidil with tretinoin, 0.5% minoxidil with 0.05% tretinoin, showed significant hair growth compared to either of these two treatments taken alone. And then there was another study which indicated that men using 0.1% tretinoin cream saw a 16% increase, increase in their hair density over a three-month period. And the third study done in women who were suffering from alopecia areata who used 0.025% tretinoin resulted in 19% increase in their hair density. 
And these findings highla highlight how the, a combination of minoxidil with tretinoin is beneficial in hair loss treatment. And this offers new hope to individuals who have been using minoxidil for a long time, who cannot use finasteride due to various reasons, to use minoxidil and become and, and to use minoxidil gainfully, optimally, by combining it with retino, retin A because of the simple reason that retin A cream or tretinoin increases the expression of sulfur transferase enzyme in the scalp. And this is the enzyme which in 40% of individuals is lacking. And once this enzyme is enhanced, more and more patients become responders to topical minoxidil. That is the biggest advantage of, tretin, of retin A or tretinoin. Now, how do you apply uh, tretinoin along with minoxidil? There are various dosage regimes and all this depends upon the sensitivity of your scalp to tretinoin. There have been patients who have been applying tretinoin two hours before with no problem, no skin irritation and two hours later applying minoxidil. There have been patients who are applying tretinoin with minoxidil in the same cream and they do not have much problem. But most of the patients have a problem of skin irritability when they combine both minoxidil and uh, tretinoin together. So in these patients, because this is a vast majority, it is always better to keep a gap of 8 to 12 hours before you apply minoxidil after the skin has been primed with tretinoin. So keep a gap of 8 to 12 hours. So the best way to ensure this is to apply retin, retin A cream tretinoin in the night and in the morning when you get up, after your head wash, after you've dried your scalp, you apply minoxidil for best results. So what are the side effects of uh, tretinoin? So uh, tretinoin causes skin irritation, it causes itchiness, flakiness, it causes photosensitivity. It can cause, and this in darker skin types can cause uh, uh, darkening of the skin, pigmentation. So whenever you're using tretinoin, especially Indian skins and the darker skin types, always use a, 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 a skin a, a, a sunscreen lotion with, uh, with SPF more than 30. Also, when you're using tretinoin, use mild conditioners, use mild shampoos, and you can use moisturizing agents as well. And we all know the uh, side effects of minoxidil, they're well known. It also causes itchiness. It causes flakiness. Uh, many times it causes palpitations if you use too much of it. And it can cause unwanted facial hair growth if it spills on your face. So these, this is the uh, combination of minoxidil with tretinoin. Best used efficaciously if you take the advice of your doctor, because he only will know how much sensitivity your skin has, how much scalp skin has. So use it uh, optimally, use it efficaciously under the guidance of your doctor. And if you have any question about tretinoin, about minoxidil used together, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll always get back to you. If you have any questions, if you want any topic, special topic to be covered in the next live session, do let me know, leave a comment in the comment section below or message us on the WhatsApp numbers provided in the link uh, in the description below and we'll get back to you at the soonest. And also my email is also provided. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do because your engagement with my channel keeps us motivated and uh, helps us in, in bringing out more and more videos that help you, videos that are non-profit videos because we do not sell our uh, practice through these videos. These are only for general awareness so that you're on the, you're on the right track uh, while you're manage, managing your hair loss and while you're seeking out a hair transplant. So have a nice day and God bless you.